let us discuss this example so in this example we have two matrix spaces r2d and r2d1 d is a euclidean matrix so you are familiar with that d of xy is equal to square root of x1 minus y1 square plus x2 minus y2 square and the second matrix d is a uh, discrete matrix that means d of xy is equal to 0 if points are same and it is equal to 1 if points are distinct so these two matrix we have as well as they have given this set okay so s1 is defined as xy belongs to r2 such that x square plus y square is equal to 1 getting i think you are familiar with this equation this is equation of circle with center origin and radius is 1 let me draw this circle first okay so this is a circle we have with center origin and radius 1 right see we have to check whether this s1 set s1 is connected or disconnected in both matrix so first suppose we will focus on euclidean matrix we will discuss in that matrix first and after that we will go for discrete matrix let us start so what will i do i am going to define a function okay so consider consider see i am defining a function in this way f of uh, f defines from close interval 0 to 2 pi to r2 as it is defined in this way f of x is equal to cos x or instead of x i will take t here cos t comma sin t so this function i have defined in this way okay so it is defined on close interval 0 to 2 pi its image set is image is in r2 getting and it is defined as f of t is equal to cos t plus sin t what is its x component x component is cos t what is its y component y component is sin t so therefore x square plus y square okay x square plus y square so if i put x value of x here cos square t plus if i put value of y sine so sine square t which is equal to 1 since you know that cos square theta plus sine square theta 1 so what we get finally x square plus y square is equal to 1 that means this function the image set satisfy this equation and the second important thing is what is the domain close interval 0 to 2 pi that means theta that angle t varies from 0 to 2 pi that means it gives a complete circle so what is our conclusion let me write that thing so therefore f of image of this close interval 0 to 2 pi is s1 this is a very important thing we have got that means see we have defined a it is 0 to 2 pi here i have defined a function f from 0 to close interval 0 to 2 pi to r2 and we have got its image is a circle right so and here here let me write here uh, f is continuous function f is continuous function so see this function is clearly continuous you can check in rough getting so that can be a homework for you you can check okay so it is a continuous function and close interval 0 to 2 pi is connected it's connected will you tell me why how can we say this set is connected since you know that in r with a usual matrix every interval is a connected set so this is an interval we have so that's why it is connected there is a very important result i am going to use so let me write that result first after that we will discuss we know that we know that we know that continuous image continuous image of connected set of connected set connected set is connected is connected this is a very important result i am using here what is it continuous image if you have any connected set if you have a continuous function then image of that connected set is again connected so same situation we have its domain close interval 0 to 2 pi it is an interval so that's why it is connected f f is a continuous function so that's why its image is also connected so therefore what is our conclusion image of this close interval 0 to 2 pi under f is connected is connected in r2d let me write the matrix space r2d right but f of close interval 0 to 2 pi is nothing but s1 so therefore what can we write s1 is connected s1 is connected in r2d getting so just first sub question we have solved here the given set s1 is connected set in r2d where d is a euclidean distance so now we have to discuss for discrete matrix space you can make a screenshot of it after that we will go for discrete matrix space 
Now let us discuss second sub question. In second sub question, we have a matrix space R two D D one, right? So D one is a discrete matrix. So in previous videos, we have already seen in a discrete matrix space only singleton sets are connected sets. And what is our S one? S one has infinitely many elements. It contains all points which lies on a circle, lie on a circle, get it? So therefore, it has many elements. And in a discrete matrix, only singleton sets are connected. So therefore, hundred and one percent, our set S one is disconnected in discrete matrix space. So it is not connected in R two D one. Okay. So this is our conclusion. So make a screenshot of it, and then we will stop. Thank you. Bye bye.